Hey guys, welcome back. Part number four of my 24 scale hurricane build. Now this part, we're going to work on the wings, the gun bays, and those beautiful metal barrels by Master. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back. Hope you had a great week. And we're on to part four of the hurricane, or hurricane. I think, I think I've been in the U.S. too many years, so I know in England the pronunciation is more hurricane, where here in the U.S. hurricane is normally how it's spelled, just a language dialect, I guess. Um, anyway, since you last saw me, doo -doo, we got to put it together. Look how good she's looking. Very cool indeed. So... Yeah, there she is. Um, no real problems at all. Actually, went together pretty well. So I did my usual thing with seams, where I put it together, then I ran through with some sprue goo, which is basically um, extra thin with plastic card mixed in, like a, almost like a filler. So I ran it all seams. Um, I sent it back to get rid of the gaps, and um, the front bottom here that there's not much attachment points. I, you see, I still need to work on this one a little bit, sand it down a little bit, but. Um, I spot welded these because any extra thin is not going to hold it because the tension is going to want to pull apart. So spot welding basically means a little super glue just dabbed on and then hold it together and then with my kicker just hit some kicker on it and it will dry instantly and put, bind that together. So that's how I do those kind of tricky parts where it's a lot of tension, put, you know, you need to clamp it together. So the rest of it just went to no problem at all and we're looking actually pretty good. I think it's a little bit repair work needed on the top here with some rivets and stuff. but. Anyway, looking pretty good. Nice size, hey? So, oh, let's talk real quick about, let's talk real quick about Kicker. So, this, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Zap. It's nasty. It damages all your paint work. It's very potent, the smell, too. But I don't never ever spray it because it just goes everywhere. It's a huge mess. So, what I do is I literally take the lid off. And when I put my glue on holding it, I just take it. And using the straw thing here, I just literally just hold it over it or tap it. And then it's just going to, that's all you can do. It's going to literally instantly dry the super glue. So yeah, no spraying and stuff because it um, gets everywhere, it's messy and it destroys your paintwork and everywhere. Um, but yeah, there we go. So looking pretty good. I'm really happy with this one so far. So we're obviously working with the, um, the fuselage. I can put this to the side now. We're done with this for the time being. Today we're going to work on the wing spars and wings. So we're going to start, um, we're going to skip 14 because it's all a little bit like the aerials and the rudder and stuff. We're going to do that later once it's all assembled. We don't need to worry about that right now. So we're going to skip page section 14 and move on to 15. So 15 is taking a low fuselage, which is a big piece of plastic and putting a few parts on here and there like wheel wells. Um, looking ahead, I think it says paint these red, but you're not going to see them, I don't think. So there's no point painting them if you're not going to see them, right? So same with this guy here this says silver i'm not sure if you're going to see this guy um again we'll check it out and if we don't see it we're not going to paint it um so we're going to start with adding those parts on and then turn the page 16 we're working on the gun bays and you can have these open so i'm going to have the because i got this side open for the engine i think i'm going to open the left side for the gun bay to even it off so i'm going to leave the panels open so right's going to be closed the port side's going to be open and going through here, you can see um, where it's actually open. So close that one, leave this one open. We're going to build the guns. We're going to go in there, um, two on each side, the cannons. Then turning up to page 19, this is where we're going to bring in the, the, the uh, I don't have it with me right now, it's on the other side of the room, but the brass barrels I bought, we're going to talk about those. And we're just, the beautiful brass barrels, we're going to replace the plastic and use those um, here basically get this whole wing section put together again these two panels will be glued on we're not going to see inside there these two will be loose and you'll be able to see on the left side clear parts we're going to leave off um, to the very end of the build we're not going to put those on right now um, for obvious reasons and then um, moving on to 20 adding up the flaps should be pretty straightforward just two parts for each one and then finally page or well, section 21 we're going to mate up and see how well the fit is between the, the fuselage and the wings. So, lots to do today. Um, I'm going to knock these out, and hopefully by the end, my, my aim by the end of this episode is to get to this part 21 and get this all married up um, and the main assembly done. So when we come back next week, we're working on like the little sub-assemblies and stuff to complete the assembly. So that's the game plan. Um, enough waffling. Let me go ahead and get the parts, as always, get the parts cut off, cleaned up, and ready for assembly, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've been working away for about two hours. I figured, hey, better stop and give you a quick update where I'm at. So, glue some parts on, 
sort of things. Um, those guys are done, and a big wing, lower wing assembly is here too. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to open up the the left and have the right side closed up. So I just threw these guns together. I didn't clean them up or anything. Just threw them together, put them in. Um, there's nasty scene lines and stuff, but you're not going to see it. So put those in. Um, these two guys, it says to paint paint up, but you're not going to see it because once it's all closed, I'm only going to see this little square right here, this little section. That's all. All this stuff is is invisible. So also this area right here. Um, this little tank, again, you're not going to see it, um, so I didn't bother with any seam lines. I was just going to glue it in, but what I found was when you put this on, it did kind of impede with it slightly. Um, so I'm just going to leave it out, and it's going to fit a lot better. It's expecting to fit slightly. Um, what you could do is probably drill out the gas cap here, and then paint this up and have it underneath would be a nice detail. Um, again, it's nice to give you this stuff if you want to go that route, but because you're not going to see it, I'm, and it could... You know, potentially affect the fit on the front here. I'm just gonna leave this part out, this little tank, fuel tank right here, um, and just go like this, I guess. Um, or oil tank, I'm not sure exactly what it is, some kind of tank. Um, so it's gonna fit better without it. So that's kind of where I'm at. So all this stuff is all glued in. Um, we'll paint this afterwards. This is gonna, this is gonna be silver, um, and these bays are gonna be that interior green, gray kind of color. So those bits are done, and I've done the barrels too. So. Pretty straightforward with these guys um, in terms of fit. It's just three parts that make it up, and then they fit inside the, the housing. So here it is. Just all you do is sort of super glue on one end, put a spring in the middle, and that's it. That's the barrel. Now let me zoom right in here so you actually can see it something. And then let me show you the kit part. And there you go. So. Again, for about ten bucks, whatever I think this, on this scale, I think it's a worthy investment. Get these four, um, the four um, what are they? Hispano Mark II 20 mil gallons. Just look at that. Just way different, way really nice quality here, and um, really happy how that turned out. Um, those four. Again, small price to pay, and it's definitely something you can see in the kit. So it's worth investment. Let me zoom back out. Um, so yeah, they're the kit ones. So that was no problem at all. The only little fiddly bit we're here was to actually. The actual main assembly itself to get the, like, the housings on which these fit in. So you see here, I got the, got the bracket in there, and then these guns just will just eventually just kind of fit in and glue in. The cannons are gluing like that, and at the very end, we'll do those. Um, but yeah, so how do I get these off? So, read the instructions, cut two mil off. So, I didn't measure it, I just kind of eyeballed it. So, my saw literally just one at a time, just cut off, eat real easy, about two mil. Um, so, cut it, cut it off. Came back with my sander and core sander and just really smoothed it out to get a nice you know, square square um, kind of end you know smooth surface. Then it already had a hole, about a one mil hole. So with my Proxon drill, which I highly recommend these Proxons, um, these are really good. I have a foot, foot pedal, so you can just you know power your foot and just drill it. Um, so started with one mil and got progressively bigger. So it says here to use a um, Okay, I misread it. So I, I drill a three mil. It says three and a half mil. So I firstly drill a three mil hole, and it's a slightly too tight. So I came back and did a three point five mil, and per the instructions, no surprises. It was absolutely perfect. It was a really nice tight fit, and these aren't even glued. They're just they're in so tight they're not going anywhere. So got those getting in no problem at all, and it's going to look really cool. And uh, again with the, you know, with the cannons, just going to glue right in like that. And it's a way nice upgrade, and I'm really happy how these look and that really completes the mark aftermarket so far on this set right we just we went with the seat belts we went with the harness and we went with the cannons so with that and the kit we we're out just around about 100 bucks i think just and then i have obviously got some decals so i think it's a pretty good deal this kit um and that's again really nice I like those a lot so that's kind of where i'm up to um and we keep plowing on i got more work to do i got the other two cannons to build and this time, you know, with the other two, I've got to take some time, get rid of the seam lines and clean them up and stuff, because you're actually going to see, you know, that section. Um, also, remember, I didn't, I made a mistake, I didn't clean the bottom up, and you actually see the bottom um, through the hole here, so I have to take them out, like they weren't glued tightly, I can take it out, sand it back, and put it back in again. Um, oh, one other thing too is with, see, I, I, as always, I like to mark my parts with Sharpie on the inside, so I know which is which, so one's on the left side, two's on the right side, and just from a quick fit here, with the aftermarket part here, these cannons are a little bit too long, so I just need to clip off about half a centimeter. So I place them in there, you can see the gap. So about 
half a centimeter, maybe seven mil. Just cut, you're not gonna see any of this anyway, just cut them off. And then when, this, when we install this, it's gonna fit flush um, to the fuselage. And then we can fit the cannons, like I mentioned, at the very end. Um, but that, actually I think, it, yeah, it goes that way around, right? And just, yeah, like that. Cool, and that is really where I'm up to right now. So a little progress update. Um, a lot of fun working on this one as always, and I'm just gonna keep plowing on and get these guns built up, um, and then we'll start getting some paint down and get, get these assembled. So I'll be back in, well, click of a button, I'll be right back and I'll show you kind of where I'm up to. All right, so stopping by, give you a quick update my progress. So this side of the wing's completely done, flaps on, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, no problems at all, looking good. And um, obviously that's where we did the gun barrel stuff, and they'll go on later. Um, but really happy with that one. So I closed that, that up, um, put those parts in, and obviously glued them in on that side. Now, it, this side didn't want to go in so good. Part of the cannon, the top half, like the... Um, this guy was like kind of fouling with it slightly, so I just pulled it off. I mean, you're not gonna, you are not going don't see inside it's glued on anyway, so we're good to go on that one. So... As you can see, I painted the, the bay, and um, just this part here it looks like you can see it. You might see it just went through the um, cockpit slightly. So I just sprayed on that slightly too. So the usual way, um, this serves a 1500 black as a primer. Um, added some white, um, created some pre-shading. And then same with the rest of the kit, H312 guns. for the um, We can use Tamiya 571, I believe it is, for the internal color, the gray-green. And then I painted up. Two, bra two brackets and two guns, again primed in black and just misted on some gunmetal LP19. I do love my LP paints. I will give this a little bit of a dry brush um, and then we're ready to install all this in. So I'm going to, I've done that obviously that side, I'm going to go ahead and install these guns and this side is going to be open. So I'll get these in, get it all glued up and then um, we'll be ready to put make, make this with a fuselage. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, we're together, and it went together really well. I'm really loving this kit. So no filler, just maybe a little bit needed, you know, down the wing seams here, just a little bit there, I think. Um, but overall, what a lovely fit. You can see on the underside too. Um, yeah, it's a dream. I'm loving this kit. Um, cool size too. Not it's big, but it's not like super huge, right? Um, so that's how we're looking. Um, I'm gonna let this dry off a little bit. I did have the panels here, so what we'll do is, obviously you can see the, the gun bay we've done, and I'll just put these on for painting. So a little bit of a um, PVA glue or something just to hold these in um, like that, and then I'll, I'll just a touch, and then we'll just take them off at the very end. Um, and it's basically this is for masking, um, so we can paint over it. Um, but yeah, really, really loving this kit. So perfect perfect place um, for me to stop right now. Um, like I said, I'll just really glue this together and let it set for an hour or two and then we'll come back next week and we'll finish the assembly. So we've got you know, the rudder and we've got all kinds of gear and all kinds of other stuff to work on. So one more, one more week uh, and that'll be the final part for assembly and then we get into the exciting part of painting and weathering and masking all this you know, big beast. And it's going to look absolutely awesome. We're also going to use the usual tricks of you know, worn bird, weather it down, um, plenty of weathering, that kind of stuff. It certainly won't be a show bird by any means. But yeah, really, again, really, really enjoying this kit. Highly, highly recommend it. It's one of the best kits I've worked on in a long time. Um, a most enjoyable one, it's probably since the Tamar F14, probably. Um, so there you go, really kind of high praises for this. So thank you for watching as always, appreciate all the support. And as always, you can follow me over at Patreon for early access videos. And um, until next time, have a good one. See you later, bye.